What's going on, everyone? Uh, <clears throat> out here in the camper, apparently the power went out. Or the battery died, so no light. But uh, I do this video out here in the camper. It's a little too loud in the house. Uh, I'm sure y'all seen Jennifer's post about me. Uh, today is my last day wearing the uniform in the Army. So that chapter is pretty much closed. Tuesday, no, Monday, we go get my DD-214, some other stuff, and then uh, start returning to leave. So, any other job, last day you get the job, it's basically when you retire. So, I'm counting today as it, even though I get my, my uh, DD-214 on Monday. So, I just wanted to thank some people and, you know, uh, let everybody know, hey, I'm out. Um, first, I need to... I need to thank my wife, Jennifer, for what I am today, basically. If, if I hadn't been with her and she hadn't been so supportive, I wouldn't have stayed in the Army, probably. Um, probably wouldn't have made E7. Uh, I'll drink. Um, and I definitely would not have a super awesome son. Um, probably wouldn't have the house to live in. Nothing. So, uh, thank you very much, babe for uh, being there and uh, sticking through all this and, uh, you know, putting your foot in my butt to make me do the right things and think think about what I'm doing before I make a decision, uh, which is funny because uh, she just let me buy my very first car again today, which y'all will hear about that later. But um, uh, if y'all don't know, uh, it's extremely taxing for families in the Army. Um, you know, I'm told to go here go there and i can't say no i'm like okay i'm, I'm going i got orders i'm going for a family it sucks because you're just like oh i got friends and stuff here and boom gone uh, so there's a lot of divorces in the army uh, but jennifer stuck with me through it all um matter of fact in my half year or my halfway mark she said don't get out you're stupid <laughs> do 10 more years and you're tired don't waste your, your time so um admit it here I am, uh, basically retired. So, thank you uh, for that. I uh, just want to throw out some names real quick. Just people that's top of my head. I can consider some people that have been pretty influential in my career and uh, helped guide me. Uh, first, my father. Um, the way he runs his, he ran his shop for 22 years. I was around it all my life as a kid. Um, I ran my shops that way in the army. I took all I'm regulation, threw it out the window. I ran like a business. And uh, the customers were my soldiers, or not my soldiers, but the soldiers of the vehicles we, we fixed. And I think that's uh, probably seventy-five percent of the reason why I was pretty successful uh, as a motor sergeant or in maintenance in general. I just ran it like a business. Uh, learned from my father. Um, uh, Sergeant Boss, first motor sergeant I had, awesome guy. Uh, if anybody knows where he's at, I think he's probably somewhere in Asia, somewhere I don't know, Philippines or something. I don't know. Uh, say what's up. Thanks for uh, being hard on me. My first squad leader, Sergeant Blanco. Very, uh, it's a very pivotal part of your career when you get your first uh, uh, squad leader that can make or break you. Uh, he was awesome. So, uh, awesome. Uh, first Sergeant Tired Owens. Uh, man, you're mean sometimes. But uh, looking back now, thank God you were. You molded us into some pretty good NCOs. Uh, appreciate you being tough on us. Uh, remember you talking about self-love? Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Uh, and it, it works. Thank you. Trey Graves. Um, kind of taught me ins and outs of running a shop in the motor pool before I kind of morphed into my own thing. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you were also pretty tough on us. Uh, all that Hemet knowledge that I learned from you came in pretty handy the last couple of years. So, uh, thanks. Um... Sarn Yama, Kramer, Sarn Dickinson, Sarn Monahan, Austin LaBelle, everybody in Team MSH, which is making shit happen. So we just came up with it randomly one day in Erwin because we were mad because we got tasked and everything. Uh, hey, I love you guys. Um, thanks for uh, you know making that time with the BSTB real fun for me. Uh, we, we killed it, so I appreciate that. Oh, Sarn Poncel, I can't forget you. You're part of MSH, brother. Erwin, um, uh, Byron Robertson. Hey, I had a good, had a good run in there, man. Sorry, I had to beat you out of Irwin earlier. You know, you did more time there than I did. Uh, Michael Schmidt and Anna can't forget your package. I uh, can't have one without the other. Uh, uh, had a good time at Irwin. Uh, Y'all made it a little easier for us. Uh, you know, it's tough out there. 
uh, recruiting. Hey, Mac Hernandez, hey, we had a blast out there. Uh, Mac, appreciate you teaching me anything I needed to know about recruiting. Made me successful there. Uh, Hernandez uh, uh, had a lot of fun hitting golf balls and, you know, prospecting. Um, so it was a good time. Uh, had fun out there. A lot of good times in the uh, out in the uh, recruiting in New England area. It's really pretty. So if you haven't been there, check it out. <clears throat> uh, came back to Hood. Uh, I was in 602nd, 289th, and 120th. This support brigade. So uh, Sergeant Blaze, hey, we had a good run at 602nd. Man, uh, learned a lot from you. Uh, appreciate the help on LMTVs. Uh, we'll always stay in touch. And one day, I swear, I will make a brisket that looks just as good as yours in a pellet smoker. It's just going to take me some time. Um, love, Rainy. Y'all are going places in the Army. Y'all are two awesome NCOs. Um, you're going to kill it. Don't give up. Um, just keep doing things what you are doing before, and uh, y'all are going to go places. Even if you don't stay in the Army, you're, you're doing good. You're doing really good. Um, Sergeant Grimes, uh, appreciate the all the knowledge you, you helped with me uh, on a G Army. Um, that was, man, like drinking from a fire hose with you because you know so much stuff. So, appreciate you. Sorry, Q. Appreciate you holding down the fort when I wasn't there. With either I was on leave or I was um, uh, at a meeting. Uh, you did a good job, man. You're going places as well. You're a good, uh, good shot foreman. Uh, Cap or previously Captain Johnson and Captain Harper. Yeah, hopefully you're majors now, if not higher. Uh, I don't know. Sam Johnson, you might be running for something in Texas. I don't know. Cause we were talking about you were running for office because it'd be hilarious. Uh, but, uh... Two best officers or two best company commanders ever had in my career. Y'all let me do my thing and just run the shop and all. You just make sure that you know I had what I needed and make sure the vehicles are good. And you didn't tell me how to do my job, so I appreciate that, uh, both of you. Um, Lieutenant Arthur, oh sorry, Captain Arthur, one of the best XOs I've had. Uh, had a lot of good times with you, sir. Uh, you were hilarious. I remember that one time you said heck once. I thought the earth was going to stop spinning that day, but, uh, yeah, it was, it's a good times. Um, I appreciate you, uh, letting me mentor you a little bit when you were, uh, first came in as a, a butter bar. Um, uh, first Sergeant Gill, again, let me do my thing. Didn't get in my business. Let me run my stuff. Uh, but had my back if something crazy happened, like, you know, somebody trying to send me alcohol in Kuwait. Uh, what my fault. Um, but I appreciate you helping me out, and uh, I know you're doing good out there. Uh, civilian life, too, so hopefully I can uh, do as good as you are. Uh, anyone else in 289th? Uh, hey, it was a good time out there. It's one of my favorite units. I would go back to the, doing the uh, boarding mission anytime. That was so much fun. Um, last, uh, Sergeant Paralis. That was in 289th with me in 120. Sucker me into going to this company, and I just left. Um, uh, my wife wanted to beat you up because of that. Because uh, this company sucks, man. This battalion sucks. Sorry to say it, but it is pretty terrible. Um, but hey, man, you, you've had my back since day one. We, when we start, first started working together, appreciate you. Um, you know, you're fixing it out, too. I told you I'd beat you out, man. But uh, hey, we're getting out now. It's in the past for us, and I wish you the best of luck. And for everybody else in the Army is still serving and serving with me, uh, help me out. Hey, I wish you the best of luck out there. Um, this is not the same Army that you know that I joined 20 years ago. It's way different. It's a lot harder. Uh, we de we joined, deployed, 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 deployed constantly. This whole garrison life thing, it ain't for my generation anymore. Um, so you new generation guys, hey, y'all do what you got to do to make sure the Army keeps on chucking along, you know. Each branch of the uh, Department of Defense is there to secure our freedoms. Um, so, you know, put your time in. If you don't want to stay and get out, if you want to 20 or whatever. Um, but either way, hey, I uh, appreciate everyone's help. It's all my family. Uh, sorry that you know, I've been gone for 20 years. I got hunted off, you know. Sorry. And to the Caskey family, hey, I'm sorry I took your, your, your sister, your daughter <laughs> away from you for uh, so long. But we're back. Um, uh, it's been sacrifices, but it's been well worth it. So um, now we're on to the next chapter of our lives. And um, I'll probably wake up one morning and realize, oh, man, I can't put that uniform. I can put it on, but what's the point? But uh, it's kind of weird. I've been wearing it for 20 years, and now it's uh, it's gone. But, you know, it is what it is, and uh, we're going to move on and do better things. So, again, thank you, everyone, and we'll see you around.